All right, guys, Bigfoot here at Standing Bear Farm and uh, stayed in this bunk here last night. So this is at mile marker 240. And uh, this is... I'm Hillel. Uh, Hillel? Yeah, that's my, that's my real name. Oh, okay, cool. I don't have a trail name yet. Yeah, and Hillel is just starting today. This is his first day. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. And uh, this is... Meg. Maine? Meg. Meg. Hi, Meg. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Is your oh, thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. that. All right, so um, again, this is about uh, mile marker 240. It's a half mile off the trail. It's literally just a farm. They turned a hostel, half of it. So I wanted to show you around. So if you guys have wanted to stay here, you know what you're getting into. It's got a couple porta potties. And then over here is the shower. So I'll tell you, this is uh, definitely not, uh, you know, the nicest shower in the world. There's an outdoor one, and then there's an indoor one. So, um, I've only stayed at one other hostel on that. It's been hotel or motels, and uh, it was just top of Georgia. There's a lot of house over there, but top of Georgia was a lot uh, cleaner. So. It's got a cabin right here. And the kitchen and uh, laundry is right over there. And uh, I'll show you guys what your resupply options are up here at Standing Bear. Oops, excuse me. All right, so definitely probably the best resupply that I've had uh, so far in the four places I've stayed at so far. It's got clothing as well. This dude found his mashed potatoes, so he's happy, right? Yeah, man. That's all I eat. <laughs> um, and I uh, got some frozen stuff here and pizzas, which are decently priced, but for sure $10. And then some uh, refrigerated stuff. So, not bad. <coughs> and, uh, you uh, just uh, take an envelope and write down what you're taking and the price. It's on the honor system here. Uh, so. And uh, for the laundry, it's got the old fashioned scrub board um, and ringer here and then a dryer. So anyway, uh, you got your kitchen in there. What's up guys? <laughs> All right, so uh, the plan is uh, to get the hot springs in a couple days. I'm gonna take it a little bit easier now that I got through the Smokies in three days. So anyway, Bigfoot out guys, peace. Hey guys, Bigfoot here. We are on the top of Snowbird Mountain. It's a nice grassy bald here for a little while. Um, it is Wednesday, I believe. This is day number 12. And I feel just awesome. The sun's out. No more rain. I got out of the Smokies in uh, about two and a half days. I stayed at uh, Standing Bear Farm last night and uh, got to sleep in a bed, which was just really nice. I got to take a shower. Uh, check out my view here. This is just totally awesome. I had all the time in the world contemplate just staying here this is so cool so uh, to get up here it's about a four and a half mile climb that uh, sends about 3,000 feet I can definitely say that uh, I have my trail legs because I just flew through it in about two hours and uh, and I mean I broke a sweat I was sweating but uh, it, it wasn't that hard. Now, if I would have done this about seven days ago, it would been totally different. So, um, it's getting easier. But this is just amazing. So, um, I'm, uh, I want to make it hot springs early tomorrow before noon. So, we'll see how many miles I do today. Uh, and then um, I'll, I'll just kick back and take it easy in hot springs from there out. 
and uh, the next town after that will be Irwin. But I'm going to hang out here for a little bit, filter some water, and just enjoy the views. Uh, I've worked really hard the last few days, especially the last two, doing 58 miles uh, out of the Smokies. So I uh, definitely deserve to relax a little bit. All right, guys, so I just wanted you to check this out. Um, this is Bigfoot signing off. I'll see you a little bit. Bigfoot out. Hey guys, Bigfoot. It is nearing the end. I think it's day 12. Um, and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. So, overall, I would probably say that this has probably been my favorite day on the AT. On the AT. Um, not because of the scenery or the views, even though I had some great ones, but I think it's just the whole package. So, um, stayed at Sailing Bear last night as you know and uh, it was just nice to get all my clothes dry um, I'll tell you for any of you that are looking at doing the AT um, when you're preparing make sure you prepare for what it's going to be like when it's cold and you're wet 
and 75% of your clothing's wet and uh, how can you keep your morale up and all that kind of stuff. So coming on the Smokies was kind of tough, especially with the mileage I did. But getting dry last night, having an awesome dinner, <laughs> pizza, and uh, having a hot breakfast. I had sausage, egg, and cheese croissants, like those Jimmy Deans or whatever, I do them. Um, I didn't leave, I, I literally uh, just had a very leisure day today. I didn't leave the, the standing bar, <laughs> farm until like, I think it was about 10 o'clock, maybe quarter after 10. Now, it was quite a climb coming out. I think you ascend about 3,000 feet in <clears throat> four and a half miles. And uh, it's probably just because I'm getting my trail legs but it really wasn't that hard for me. And the first 13 miles of today was a lot of ascending. But um, once you get past Max Patch Mountain, it is downhill the entire way, um, especially after Roaring Fork Shelter. Well, it is the whole way. But um, I've been on, I, I probably have made three miles from the next shelter. But I've been going downhill for the last four miles or so. I am completely dry. Um, my back's not even wet, which is the first time the entire trip that I'm not drenched in uh, sweat or drenched from rain. And it just feels great. The weather could not be better right now. It was a little bit chillier early today. Probably perfect weather for hiking. I would have preferred a little bit warmer, but right now this evening, I just I can't ask for a better, uh, better, better weather, better temperature. You know, no humidity. It just feels so great. And I can't. I gotta say, uh, the last four miles has been such a leisure walk for me. I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, I've heard. Uh, someone mowing the lawn when I was coming down Max Patch and uh, it just reminded me of summertime um, and with the uh, with the weather the nice cool evening right reminds me of a summer back home in Minnesota and just reminds me how much I miss uh, home but uh, I've also been able to stop two different times today um, once at the Max uh, Patch Mountain, it was uh, the whole top is all bald, and you have a 360 degree view of the Smokies, of the Appalachians that you're about to go north, go northbound on, and it was just beautiful. And then on the top of uh, I forgot the name of the mountain, Snowbird or something like that, which was right when you ascend to the top out of Standing Bear Farm. But, you know, I've slowed down my pace. There are times <clears throat> that I was only hiking like a two mile per hour pace, and it's just been great. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's probably about 6.30, I think now. And no, it's 6.15. And I'll still be able to squeeze 20 to 22 miles in, but it's been a different 22 miles than other days. And, and again, I, I did ascend a lot the first half of the day, so from a, a total total uh, elevation, it's probably comparable to many other days, but you know, I'm getting better and better shape, better trail condition, my body's changing, things are getting easier, and the weather is just beautiful, and uh, I just honestly couldn't ask for a better day. Tomorrow, I uh, will only have <clears throat> like a 13 mile day to get in hot springs, which will be by far my shortest day so far. And I'm gonna enjoy it. I, uh, my goal is to get in hot springs before noon. I might even be able to get there before 11 if I leave at six in the morning. So we'll see about that. Um, depends on how I sleep and everything. 
But uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the rest of the day today. I'm really looking forward <coughs> till to, to tomorrow. Spending probably the most time all that I've spent in a town so far for how early I'll get into town. And uh, it's just everything I need. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, meet my parents up in Washington, D.C. in uh, about four weeks from now. They're gonna fly into D.C. and rent a car and come pick me up. I hope that I'm close to Harper's Ferry. Um, and the other cool thing is uh, my other brother is gonna go uh, with and he's gonna hike on the trail with me for a week which by that time the elevation uh, will, will probably be in the lowlands I should be out of the Virginia highlands by then so um, I'll probably slow down the pace to 20 miles a day because I am hoping I'll be ahead of the game just with how things are going right now so my brother uh, doesn't have to struggle to keep up and just have a really good week with uh, with him so anyway those are just the things I've been thinking about um, but uh, wanted to capture my uh, my feelings and what I'm thinking as much as I can uh, so I can give you a true interpretation of uh, how I'm doing and what's going on so anyway guys thanks for uh, all of the support I've uh, been reading all your comments I've you know, I haven't been able to respond to a lot of them. Um, and that's not because I don't want to just, you guys know, I just, it's hard to find the time. But uh, anyway, um, I don't know if I'll have another video for tonight, but I will be uh, probably camping at the shelter. I think the mile marker is 260. Um, or there's a campsite about two miles after that. So it's going to be one of those two. Um, but uh, yeah, so next time I'll probably see you guys will be tomorrow on day 13. And uh, we'll wrap it up. So thanks, guys. Have an awesome night. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. guys Bigfoot so last night was the most crappiest night of day two so far um, there was uh, like 38 or up to 35 or 30 mile per hour winds at one point and uh, my uh, tent actually came uh, on loose and uh, I had to hold my stake in place or my uh, pull in place so it, the uh, tent went collapse. Um, some of the stake must have came out, and uh, it was of course it was raining and uh, it was just terrible. So I got it staked back in, and it was fine after that. But um, it is uh, it's freaking cold. <laughs> so it's uh, I mean, today is like what May sixth, and uh, I think it's like 38 degrees. It's actually sleeting right now. You can see that. So, I have 13 miles to get into, uh, into town, but I'm probably going to have to wait a little bit before I actually leave for it to warm up a little bit because it is way too cold, um, especially until after the sleep stops. But anyway, um, hopefully they'll start warming up a little bit and the weather will cooperate um, so I can get the hell out of here and into town. It won't take me very long to get into town because it's pretty much downhill the whole way, but um, not a good start to uh, day number 12, I think, is where we're at. Maybe it's day 13, I can't remember. All right, guys, Bigfoot out. Hey, guys, Bigfoot here in Hot Springs. It's uh, day 13, Thursday, May. Yeah, it's single day mile, actually. Uh, so, made it out of the uh, the woods um, last night was the worst night uh, of the trail so far and as you watched my other video the uh, yesterday was the best day so the best day 
followed by the worst night. Um, so today I started, I, I don't think I broke camp till about 7.45 a.m. And I hiked harder than I've ever hiked before. I had a few uh, mountains to climb, a few ridges, and then a lot that was downhill. But I started, I think, about 7.45 a.m. And I had 13 miles to go to get to Hot Springs, and I made it to town by 11.45. So uh, I know I, I, there's been a few days I've done 12 miles and by noon, 12 by 12, but I haven't done more than that. And uh, most of those times is when I started at 7 in the morning, not 7.45. So anyway, uh, definitely paid off. I'm staying at the Alpine Motel. It's kind of a shithole, but it, uh, it's not bad for what I need. So this is uh, Hot Springs. Got your little AT diamonds on here. This is a great little trail town. We're literally on the AT right now. Up there on the mountain, you can't really see it, but that's where the uh, Hot Springs fire was. And uh, I think they extinguished it uh, about a week ago, so the uh, trail opened back up. Um, this is pretty much the entire city of Hot Springs here. Um, I'm gonna eat at one of these places over here for dinner. Uh, you got Bluff Mountain up over here to the right, which is an outfitter, so you can get a bunch of stuff in there. Um, they got some resupply options. Um, and then uh, over to the left there is your uh, laundromat. I did some laundry there earlier, so that was cool. Most of these places close at five or six. So um, I wanted to go to the uh, grill barbecue, but um, I, I don't even think it's open anymore. So uh, I think there's only one option. But anyway, this is the town of Hot Springs. It's pretty sweet. Um, and uh, my plan is, uh, depending on what the weather looks like for tomorrow, uh, if it's gonna be cold again tomorrow night, I'm probably just gonna hike out Hot Springs, go about 17 miles uh, to the next hostel, which is at 290 um, off of Log Cabin Road. I cannot remember the name of the hostel. And stay there the night and then uh, have two big days. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's almost average for me now, but I'll do two 26 mile days to get to Irwin. I'm trying to get to Irwin by Sunday night. So anyway, um, that is about it. Uh, I'll keep on walking on this to head back into the woods here. But um, yeah, everything else is going good. I'm just happy that I'm warm and dry and clean and I'm about to have a full belly. So, all right, guys, I'm going to sign off and I will, uh, I'll see you guys probably in the morning. Bigfoot out. Brrr.